All right, got a whole new setup here, a new camera holding thing, and I'm all over the place. I'm all cockeyed, nothing's even. I don't, you know, just the way it's gonna go. But if I try and wait until everything's perfect, uh, I'm never gonna put up another video. So instead, we're just gonna kind of plod through. This is a video about going to Target or Target or whatever you bougie people like to call it. It is, there was a good amount of uh, things there. So I picked up one little box of everything they had. So they had one box, 2023 update, and this camera still jumps. It's only been jumping since I had uh, this new camera stand for it. So, uh, you know, bear with me. Uh, you know how it is. I don't know what I'm doing. Update regular tops. We got a Heritage 2023. I don't know why this reminds me. I placed an order with Tops to try and get a 2024 as early as possible. Um, this is good old Alan Ginter. Not a big fan of them. Tops Chrome. I am a big fan of theirs. And Tops Series 1. So we have a bunch of boxes to open. I'm going to just try and take the best card from each box just to do a little comparison. Just for the fun of it. Nothing too serious. Open up some cards. Let's see if I can get this open. I know I'm using a pen, but you know. That's just the way it goes. Hopefully everyone's having a great day. You know, hopefully everyone's uh, doing what you gotta do. It is Monday from when I'm making this video. So first day of the week. They all kind of blend together for me because I work retail, so you know I don't have weekends off or anything like that. Um, good old Alan Ginter. Probably amongst my least favorite of the cards. How much should I pay for this box? At uh... oh, they don't give you the prices. They just say MLB cannot be returned. Isn't that not interesting? So that's just that's just how they do it. If you want to see, so some most boxes were twenty four ninety nine. One box thirty four ninety nine, but it doesn't tell me which one that was. Twenty four, and there's another thirty four. So two thirty fours. And one, uh, two 34s, and the rest were, what did it say? Jeez, I can't, I'm trying to pay attention. $24 and change. I'm just, I'm at work. I sell major appliances. Some guy came late to pick up some appliances from the store, which we don't like to do because we're in the retail store here. We're not at the warehouse. And, uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to open these. Oh, this guy. If you think I'm having a bad day, this guy's probably been having a worse day. Juan Franco. And he comes here, picks up two uh, big washers and dryers, like the front loaders, the big capacity, whatever's, in a pickup truck with a dishwasher. And it didn't fit. So it's like, all right, well, how many blocks are you going? You know, maybe it's not so bad. Maybe, maybe you'll make it. He says, I'm going to Philadelphia. We're in Long Island, New York, man. I mean, and so he wants to drive with a one wash machine with upright, the other was on its side, you know, all in the boxes and packaging, and then a dishwasher on top of the wash machine that was on its side. And I don't have any rope. I have nothing. It's a retail store. You know, we're not a warehouse. So, I don't know. Good luck to him. If I delete this video, it's because, you know, maybe that guy's going to kill somebody. And I just had to get rid of all evidence. I didn't know nothing. I didn't know nothing. It's just the craziest thing in the world, man. Some people save a couple of bucks. They Just the amount of time and effort and traveling and stuff like that. Ugh. But that's just me. Anyway, I don't know why I brought that up. 2024 tops coming out soon. I'm going to try and get them actually as early as possible. It's uh, Big Hurt. I like him. Bradley. Got a little card that I lost already. Casas. All right. Well, he's actually a decent little rookie. So I'm going to put him up there for now. I don't know if he's going to be the best card necessarily. Hater just signed with uh, my favorite team, the Astros. Machado. Bryant. DeGrom. I almost root for DeGrom. I hope he comes back. Ecuador. David Ortiz. Well, that's a nice card, too. Rodriguez. I'm kind of a believer in him. Louis Pitchers. Uh, am I going to say it's better than Casas? I'm going to put him to the side as a good card. Bryce Harper. My second favorite non-Yankee player as of right now. Senga. Having quite the year for the Mets. See, now, if Senga is willing to come to New York, then why wouldn't any of those other pitchers from overseas, man? Still still a little sore about that. Yamamoto, Bald Eagle, Greeny, Darvish, Reynolds. I, I know what the answer is because 
you know, Senga didn't have as many options, and Yamamoto could go wherever he wants. A-Rod is a colorful thing. Not numbered or anything else, so I'm not going to say it's worth anything. But I'll put it in the okay pile. Polar Bear. A bunch of blue. Does that mean anything? Not really. Never really loved these cards. Oh, okay. These are Vladimir Guerrero. Is that... What is that? The feature of memorabilia of... Uh, Vladimir Guerrero. Star Outfielder of the Angels. Is not from any specific year or event. See, now that's really like... I don't know. I almost think the Casas card might be worth more. So they're saying this is this piece is well, you know, memorabilia contained in this card is not from any specific year or event. So then, what is it? <laughs> you know, like they just went to Walmart beforehand, handed him a piece of thing, and said, "All right, that's that's now officially yours." Let's go to Target. Since it's a Target video, I went to Target and just picked up something. So that's you know kind of disappointing. I don't even see the point of that, to tell you the truth. Taj Mahal, Murphy, another eagle, this one looks like a hawk to me, Ramirez, so lots of good players, hey Gary, that's a, a nice card, Pence, Griffey Jr., another blue card, I guess those are just a certain insert, Franco, Chambers, be interested to watch her play a little baseball just for the joke of it, I don't know why that would be a joke, but just, you know. Never mind. Devers. Not numbered or anything, but black one. And good old Ted Williams. All right, well, so even though, uh, you know, this is not exactly the greatest uh, relic you can get, I'm still going to put that one to the side. I'm going to say for this box, that's going to be the best card. So Casas, which probably would come in second for me. I'm going to put him right there. Next box, let's open up a box of uh, Tops 2023 Series 1. All kind of a blur. I'm uh, gonna try to get the tops 2024 as early as possible. I don't know. I, I don't. I ordered through tops. I paid for overnight shipping just for the joke of it. You know, see when I can get it in. But I also have a vacation coming up. Now the vacation. These packs are a little bit thicker than I remember. So that's nice. Uh, the vacation may or may not happen because at work we're a little bit of a skeleton crew right now. And I got word that somebody might even be leaving. And if this person leaves, then I can't leave the company like that. And it's just kind of one of those, eh, maybe, maybe not. It's going to be close. I'm on hold. Me and my family, we want to go to Disney. We go to Disney. We're good for Disney twice a year. And it's just a bummer to not know if you could go. You know, maybe, maybe not. I have to cancel the last second. Uh, it's just not a, not a nice way to have a vacation. But, you know... People have worse problems than that, for sure. Some some people in baseball have worse problems than that. Good old, look at Franco, man. Had millions of dollars and just kind of throws it all away. Could have He could have had gazillions of dollars. Instead, caused a little trouble. And now look where he's at. He's just in no man's land. Let's see. So, open up a handful at a time, see what's the best card we can get out of this. Brendan Rodgers, he's on my fantasy team. I'm expecting this guy to come through and put it together one of these years. Man, I got a good cut here. Sorry about that. Don't mean to be nasty. I know. Um, looking for, hey, Ver, Verdugo. He's not going to have the beard, I guess. Looking forward to seeing what he could do with the Yankees, just for the joke of it. Mateo is on my fantasy team. Ton of stolen bases, nothing else. Shohei Otani, this ace card. I bet you that's actually a nice card. I'll put that to the side. I like those aces. I'd be curious if 2024 kept them up. Or maybe they could try something different. I don't know. Kings of the Hill or... No. I'm not going to try. I'm not going to overthink that one. Edmund Beatty. This guy's on my fantasy team too. Going up the ranks quite a bit. Every year he just seems to be getting better and better. Cunha. This is another card that I've been enjoying recently. I don't know. I've, I've opened them up recently with these manufactured relics, but then they have different players down below. I had a Vado before. This one's a, a Jonathan. I'm not going to say it's better than the Otani, but I hope they keep those cards too. Here's an MLB Stars Otani. Man, I root against Otani. <laughs> He's definitely the guy I root against. Judge walks off in the 10th. That 
Donaldson I don't like. This guy's on my fantasy team, too. Not on my fantasy team. He had a very good season. Much better than perhaps expected. Hopefully he keeps it going. There's another knucklehead. Has it all and almost gives it away. Riley Green. Luis Robert, 88 tops. So the 89 designs are next. 89 was okay. 88's okay. Um, 90. I like the 90 design. With all the different uh, colors and everything else. Dodgers. The Dodgers. So I'm rooting against the Dodgers. I'm rooting against Otani. What else? Is there anybody else I'm against? You know, I'm not a big fan of Altuve. He's going to be a free agent next year. Let's see. Slamming Sammy. I remember him from 98, man. Am I keeping anything in frame at all? There's another judge. Baltimore, getting tired of them. There's a Vlad with his uh, poppy up on the stand already. Joey Votto. Gorman. Torres. Endeavor, a shiny one. Some of these are shiny, some of them are not. What's this? Gorman. Yeah, I'll put him to the side. He's a rookie in that thing. Must be must be pretty good if he could do that. Rough. Another judge. It's quite the uniform. Colorado. So I'm thinking that Otani might be good enough to hang on. Ripkin. It's a nice looking card. Out of those two cards, I mean, relics almost always win for me, but that relic seems kind of lame. So maybe I'd say the Otani so far is in the lead as far as the best card. Cy Young Award winner in there. Here comes some sort of a, maybe a blue card coming up. Rookie, Lee. It's cool. Not numbered. Put him to the side, but still cool enough. Another judge. Lots of judges, man. That's what happens when you hit all those home runs. All right, so Otani is going to be the winner for uh, this particular box. And I'd still say Otani is the winner overall. You know, um, I'm going to put Otani above Guerrero. So I'm going to say this is the first spot, second spot. Let's open up another box now. This time, let's do update. Good old uh, 2023, right? I'm looking for the date. Yeah, 2023. Be nice to get 2024 out, man. Oh, isn't Top Stadium Club coming out? Did I see something? I don't know why. I thought Stadium Club was already out. But it's like they're coming out like a week before or two weeks before 24 comes out. It seems weird, the timing of it. But, and who am I to say? Oh, oh, got a little pile up over here. Making a little bit of a mess. It's okay. Bunch of packs. Let's see what we get. Can we beat an Aces, Otani, or a weird relic of uh, Guerrero? I remember seeing Guerrero hit a ball that bounced off the ground. I guess he was known as a free swinger. That's a nice little card there. Backwards. Huh. Cool. Hopefully it's not the best card. It's still a nice card. So got a relic. Got a... Insert are those good inserts the aces? I guess it's not like they're rare, but they're not common either. They're not numbered, right? I like the way even the, the you know it's really like a card, the rounded edges and stuff like that. They do a good job with that. I like that. And it seems like there's enough of them, and they're rare enough. We don't get the same ones too often. Like those MLB Star of the games, those things. They should have put one in every pack. You know. You make them a little, a little bit more rare. Even you do one in every five packs or something like that, just to make them work a little bit more. Let's see some target cards. Can we get anything good? First little handful here. Jung rookie. Hope for a little bit better than him. Gorman. Bernard. Jonathan Loisega. Ooh. Well, I like that card. I like that card a lot. 
Now, I'm not saying it's worth anything to $9.99, but certainly I'm going to put it on the stand for now. Bryce Hopper, 88 tops. Nice looking card, nice design, nice colors. Dylan Cease. Is this guy going to get traded? I thought there was a chance to be traded to the Yankees. I guess he, we always think, any good player, we always think, yeah, hey, let's get him. No big deal. Yankees did nothing this offseason as far as I'm concerned. They traded for Juan Soto. But, you know, it's a one-year rental, and they gave up Michael King, and they gave up, and they didn't really replace. What do we got here? Tatis and Machado, sporting new threads. Well, certainly a nice-looking card. I like the color of that. I don't remember seeing that either. I don't see any numbers on it, though. Florial. Hoping for that one good card. Rodone, please. Stay home. Get healthy. Do what you got to do, man. Get back to it. Pull yourself together, Rodone. Supposed to be this, you know, hard nosed, tough ace pitcher. Max power. Rue. Cody Bellinger hasn't signed yet, has he? It's still a free agent. That's crazy. Free agent market's a little, a little on the iffy side, man. It's hard to figure out. Jansen, what's this? This looks interesting. Time spanning. DeGrom and Ryan. Well, one guy was super durable, the other was not at uh, two ninety nine. Well, that looks like a nice card. I guess I'd put that above Loizka. Only because this is to nine ninety nine. I like this card more with the shiny and the Yankee. But I am gonna say Nolan Ryan numbered card in and of itself. Probably worth more. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. I uh, I did a, a video about uh, the packs I don't like, and I could not do the comps to it. There were so many variations, and it just wasn't worth the time. I was taking too long trying to figure it out. Andy Pettit, very nice card. I'm not going to beat Ryan up there, though, but nice card. And Otani, all-star game. I don't know, man. Anytime I've watched Otani pitch, it's usually against the Yankees, and he gets rocked. Just saying. I'm not saying it's going to happen every time, but it has happened before. So here's a colorful card again, one of those color things. Not numbered, so I'm going to keep going. Judges leading charge for a whole piece. That's a, that's a card that has come my, a couple of my favorite players on it. Schmidt, Harris. Sonny Gray. It's another guy. Played for the Yankees. Stunk. Plays for everybody else. And he does pretty good. Another one of these color cards. I don't know what these are. I don't remember. This has a big old dent in it. Um, and it is rookie. Nice colors. But... I don't know, I'm looking for anything that says anything, or I'm going to put it to the side. I mean, they can't be that rare if I'm getting a bunch of them in this one box. But I don't remember them. Tatisa Machado again. Some of those things, some of those guys. Sean Murphy. Upside down, inside out. Yeah, hey, that's a nice looking card. Johnny Bench. That's pretty cool. Old school design. 88 tops design to it. He only gave you a couple of his years, apparently. Cool. Jordan Walker, rookie. Cool. All right, well, you know, I don't think these boxes you get your money back on, generally speaking. And it's kind of fine. You know, it's just, but I think they're fun to open. You get stuff. You know, you definitely, you get stuff to play with, stuff to look at. I am going to say Nolan Ryan's going to go above Guerrero. Maybe not above Otani. Again, I'm going to do the eBay comps on whatever I put up here just to see if I get the order correct as far as, you know, value order. Just to see. Next, let's do Topps Chrome 2023. So 
throw some more 2023. Anything better than 2023 is more 2023. There were a lot of good rookies, right? I mean, was, these were some good cards to go after and chase after and whatnot. I'd say. Let's get this going. I'm trying to move along as quickly as possible, but yeah. We only go at a certain speed around here. So here we are, 23. Chrome, not as many cards in the pack. Let's see. Just trying to go through these things at a somewhat reasonable pace. I appreciate everybody's time. I appreciate everybody watching. I don't know why subscriptions seem to be going relatively true to roof. I mean, I don't know. I give away a couple of things here and there, but I don't give away that much. Oh, and by the way, just so everyone knows, the giveaways I just put in the mail today, uh, it's just my weakness, man. I don't know. Like, I have good intentions. By the time I figure out packaging, like, I tried to package these things in boxes. I went back to the same kind of packaging I've done everything else with, though, ultimately. And uh, one poor guy has uh, uh, his winnings going to Japan. And I didn't know that. And I went to the post office, and it just, and it all got messed up. <laughs> so I emailed him to kind of clarify a couple of things, and hopefully I'll get that done from as soon as possible. I don't mean to be slow, but I just am when it comes to that kind of stuff. That's why I don't sell on eBay. Can we get one good card? Rather have one good card rather than like four okay cards. So here's some sort of shiny something or other happening here. You can see that with my lighting. Gallon, though, I'm going to say not going to be the best card. Corbin Carroll, what do they call that? Sephora or something like that? That's a nice card to the point where I'll put it up here. DJ Hall, Anthony Rizzo, Hoping for one more good year out of Rizzo. Reynolds. Everything's upside down, inside out. Aaron Judge, I appreciate this card. Let's see what we got back here. 62 home runs. Man. 131 RBIs, 133 runs, 16 stolen bases to boot, a 311 batting average. Woo-wee. I got him on my fantasy team, too. He's a good one. Who's this guy? Catcher slash outfielder. But he's pink card, so it counts. Goes into the good pile. Peraza, I guess I'll put him in the good pile. He's not gonna, he's not gonna turn into two too much, I don't think. All these cards are upside down, inside out. Masi. Oh, now isn't this? Are these the cards that are worth something to turn in? Man, I don't know. Like they're worth store credit or something. I don't know how long that's good for. Huh. Oh, so I'm going to put him to the side because I just don't know that answer. Pink Seeger. Cody Clemens. But if that's the case, I mean, this card is probably more valuable than anything else I've pulled. Eight tops. Royce Lewis, a future star. And one of these funny colored guys. Okay, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this Otani is, first of all, it's bent like, like you wouldn't believe. Woo, look at that. Um, but let's say you put it into one of those protectors and it straightens out eventually. I don't remember if this is worth the trade-in. I don't remember how long the trade-in is good for. But I'm going to say it is. And if that's the case, because he was the MVP... I'm going to say that's the most valuable. So even the Corbin Carroll, very nice card. I'm going to put him up. And if that's the case, if I'm right about this, it's probably number one, right? I mean, now, this does not make me happy having two Otanis. But as of right now, I'm kind of guessing that's that's the value way that it would go. If it's not, uh, if he's not worth the trading value, all of a sudden, ah, that card is going to say no. $2 card. So, we'll see. Tops Chrome update. Let's see what we got here. I don't remember. For the life of me. I didn't put any to the side. I probably had a couple too. And 
I don't know if that will artificially inflate the value of the card even when it's done because then people turn them in. Kind of makes me sad to see Otani in the Angels uniform now. You know, like he quit on the team. I did quit on the team, but, you know, leave the team. Chrome. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. As per usual, I always appreciate the comments. I appreciate doing this. Instead of me just opening up a box by myself in the kitchen, I get to open up a box sometimes, sometimes still in my kitchen, but sometimes at work, which is where I'm at now. Just get to share a little bit, get to look at some comments. Always appreciate it. I always read every comment. Sometimes I read the comments twice. And uh, I can't say I respond to every comment now. Just because, you know, I try and put up a lot of videos and try and do some editing and this, that, and the other thing. And I do have a family. So I gotta be a little careful. Don't want to get in trouble with the family. Here is a nice little shiny thing. This reminds me of the, um, oh, Panini cards. Eflin, who is not a big player, but it's a card to 99. So there's a chance for him. I'll certainly put him up there. Action star Bo Bichette. I like that card. Here's a regular Zach Efron. TJ Bradley, Ben Detendi, with that color. I don't know if that color makes him worth anything. Adel Rushman. He's Adley. It's a good card. I mean, it's probably worth more than that card. Corbin Carroll. Another good card. So a nice little, nice little pack here. Box, I guess it was. Diaz. Pink. Seem to get a lot of pinks. Pinks, I guess, aren't that rare because I see another pink in the back. Seth Lugo, you know what I'm going to say, just because it's that. Jordan Walker, rookie. Jordan Walker still has a chance to be a big-time player. What we got here? Doyle, rookie, color, not numbered. All right, so I'm going to put the card to 99 at the top there. Again, I think it's probably one of the worst. You know, what is he, kind of like a raise, relief pitcher? He might be okay, but I don't think that card's going to be worth anything. What year is he from? I mean... Earn run average. Yeah, he's got a... Uh, yeah, this ain't... So he was to 99. I don't know. Some of those other rookie cards, the base rookies, could have been worth more. But still, it's a numbered card, so I'm going to put it up there. Uh, Heritage, high number. Never totally understood what high number means. Even up a deck with high number. So it's like just a different series, I guess. Like Tops has Series 1, Series 2. Heritage has Heritage and high number. Or are they including all of them plus the high numbers, which are harder to get, if I remember correctly? I am not 100% sure, but this is the last box. So, let's see. You can only fit five of those pedestals up there. We have six of these little boxes. I don't think I've opened up any of these packs before, these uh, high-numbered ones. So, I'm looking forward to it. I like the feel of those cards. I feel like baseball cards. Got a little bit of everything. Got everything except for an autograph. Got numbered cards. Got relic. Got like uh, I don't know whatever that Otani might be considered, where you get your money back on it or whatever it is. Got some good cards that are worthless. Some good cards that have some value to it. You never know. You never know. right way up. Yeah, it's funny how, how old-fashioned these cards feel. The stock of paper. Alright. Here we go. Let's see. What are we going to get here? Korea. We got Corbin Carroll. What are these considered? I don't know. It's Corbin Carroll, so put them to the side. I can't believe that guy's still pitching. Sowers, Joe. 
Jacob DeGrom, backwards card, home run special, Aaron Judge, Roger Maris. Well, it's backwards, so does that mean it's a short print type of thing? Card number 100. I guess not. Well, I'll put them in a good pile. That's actually, to me, that's a you know, pretty cool card. That's almost as good as I can get. Unless, you know, it's autographed or something, which would make it exceptional. But we're not going to go there. Grayson from the good pile. What do we got here? Seven run comeback. I don't remember that. Duvall, Stockus, Grossman. Nice looking card, but... Max, Uriel. That wasn't Uriel, was it? Cano. Not the Cano rookie I'd want. Red Sox. Vargas, I don't know. He had, he had a couple good months, but then he kind of doyle. All right, well, maybe that judge card might go back up here. What is this? This is very shiny and feels funny. What's this? Numbered card to $9.99. Pretty, again, another one of those, like, I don't know if this is the best uh, numbered card I can get. They got some wins, I guess. So I'm going to put them... Put him up here for now. I don't know who he's going to beat out or not beat out. I'll have to look at that. It's good to get a numbered card at least. If we get anything that might possibly beat that. That would be a pretty decent card. I like those numbered cards. Rooker. Fam. Ethan Small. Brito, I mean, he's a Yankee, so I'm going to put him to the side, but he don't foresee him being the greatest player in the world. Walker had a couple of good months, right? He's supposed to be the man. Let's just go over here. Clayton, Clayton Kershaw. He's definitely the man. It's funny, not even, for as great as he is, not even close to 300, you know, wins or anything along those lines. Rookie. Interesting looking card. So much so I'll put it to the side. Last couple of cards, a singer. And all right, well, there you have it. So now my big question is which card is worth more? This numbered card of the Tampers guy or that Judge Maris card? Judge Maris might have some value to it because it was backwards in the pack, which usually signifies something short print or something. Um, hmm. to nine ninety nine. Now, if this was to ninety nine, like this guy, I'd say okay, I have to keep it to nine ninety nine. I'm actually gonna say I'll do the eBay comps just to see. But if this was a rookie, maybe I would say hold it. But I'm gonna say the Judge Maris card is worth more actually, which is weird. I certainly could be wrong, but I am going to. Am I taking anything off the stand? What was the deal with these guys? This is numbered? Yeah, so that's numbered. No Ryan numbered card. Um, aces, I feel like that's worth a couple of bucks. That could be worth like 20 bucks or whatever their, their cash in value is. That's why I have them up there. Nolan Ryan, maybe. This card, you know, this card I'm going to probably throw off, to tell you the truth. I'm thinking that's worth the least I'm thinking here, and I'm thinking here, and then that's my order. So I got the Otani, this Otani card at number one, two, three, four, five, and Guerrero coming in six. Again, I'm going to throw up some numbers of eBay comps, see how close I was. You know, if I'm right, it's because I'm a super genius. And if I'm wrong, it's because, you know, I was wrong. Thanks for watching. If you hung in there, let me know what I did right, let me know what I did wrong, and uh, enjoy your night. Talk to you later. Thanks.